Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about two awesome fellowship opportunities for you in blockchain. We'll go through both of them in detail and their deadlines are pretty close so make sure you share this video with all your friends and anyone who would be interested in this so they don't miss out. First, we'll talk about Summer of Bitcoin. If you are an open source and crypto enthusiast, this opportunity is for you. Summer of Bitcoin is about 10 to 12 weeks long internship slash fellowship opportunity during the summer where you'll be matched with an open source organization working on Bitcoin and you'll work on a project under their mentorship. Let's talk about eligibility. If you're 18 plus and a university student enrolled in any discipline, you're eligible for this program. They haven't mentioned any prerequisites and I have mailed them regarding this but haven't received any reply till the time of recording this. If there is any reply, I'll add that as a pinned comment on this video so you can keep checking for that. Your application process would look something like this. First, you need to fill in the application. It has optional GitHub and LinkedIn fields, but if you have built them well, do not hesitate to share those, since it may give you an edge. Also, it has a field for why you want to join this program, so think carefully about that. After you're done with the application, they will see if you are a good fit for the program. If yes, they will ask you to complete an exercise upon which you'll have a brief call with a representative. If all of these go well, you'll be inducted into the program. Now we go through the program checkpoints. First step is onboarding, where you'll set up dev environment, get familiar with code base, etc. Second is coding, where interested students begin discussing project ideas with mentors at respective organizations. Third is midpoint evaluation, where mentors will evaluate your work and provide feedback and if satisfactory, you'll receive a part of the stipend. Fourth is final evaluation, where you submit the final PR and mentors evaluate the project. Finally, fifth is result announcement. Unsuccessful projects are published and students receive their certificate of completion along with remaining stipend. I could not find any mention of stipend amount on the website, but some channels mentioned around $2,500 paid in Bitcoin, so take that with a grain of salt. On a more personal note, if you're thinking about applying in this program, then do it for the learning and not for building your CVs or the stipend. And be passionate about the topic at hand. There are going to be many more opportunities including the field you are passionate about and will keep you informed. Deadline for the applications is 20th June. So depending on when this video gets released, you should have about 3-4 to four days to fill the application. If you're already excited about it, they have given some links where you can start learning on your own. We'll drop those in the description, so check that out. For the second fellowship, we'll have Anshuman Takeover. Now, let's talk about Tezos India Fellowship 2.0. Tezos is a decentralized, open-source blockchain network that can execute peer-to-peer -peer transactions and also serve as a platform for deploying smart contracts. Tezos India Fellowship 2.0 will mentor 30 developers and support them in building on the Tezos stack while receiving $2,000 in stipend over the course of 8-week mentor-led program. In its first edition, which was a year ago, it saw over 1,400 applications. Few of the projects have also received up to $10,000 in follow-up grants to work on the project. You can check out those projects by clicking the link in the description. This fellowship is an amazing opportunity for blockchain developers to learn and work on their project using Tezos stack while also getting paid for it. There are no prerequisites or eligibility criteria for the fellowship, so beginners, intermediate and advanced developers can apply for this fellowship. Let's look at the timeline. The application's deadline is 3rd of July. The interview shortlist results are on 5th of July. The interview slots are from 6th to 14th of July. And finally, the results are announced on 16th July. The program starts from 19th July, will continue for 8 weeks and then finally end on 12th September. Let's look at the application process. So you can only apply for the fellowship through Devfolio. Apart from your personal details, you would need to fill your graduation year, describe any one of the projects that you worked in the past, your experience level with blockchain, then optionally, you can elaborate on a project that you might be interested in building during the fellowship period. And finally, why you are applying for the fellowship and what you hope to take from it. I would recommend that you take your time to answer the application questions diligently. 
Akash had recently shared his experience on Ethereum India Fellowship. He described his fellowship journey and also gave his advice on the application process. Do check that out if you want to learn more. So that's it for the video. We'll keep the description and the comment section updated with any new news or info that we couldn't cover in this video. Meanwhile, we've added our resources that will help you get started with your blockchain journey. Leave your queries in the comment section below. And if you like these kind of videos, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.